Now I'm going to talk about seasoning up a side of ribs. Barbecue seasonings typically are based depending on the geographic region in which you live. There are four different regions within the country that I recognize at least. If I don't recognize your region, please don't send me hate mail. Typically there's Kansas City style barbecue which is usually sugar based and uses sauce so it's sweet and tacky. There's also Texas style barbecue which usually is salt based and usually a bit spicy so it's kind of salty and spicy. There is Memphis style barbecue which typically is based more around herbs and seasonings and around mustard. And then there's the Carolina style barbecue which is usually based around a vinegar base. So all four of those regions will determine the type of barbecue you typically like to eat and the type of seasonings you usually use on there. For the ribs I'm going to do today, I'm going to use Italian dressing as my marinade. Italian dressing has oil, has vinegar, has onion, garlic, and bell peppers in it. The oil helps to brown the meat as well as add moisture back to it. The vinegar helps to break down the tendinous fibers and the garlic, onion, and bell peppers are the basis of any good recipe, at least in my opinion. So now I'm going to season these up with a little bit of Italian dressing. Not a whole lot, probably a tablespoon per side. So now I've managed to season up all three of my sides of ribs with the Italian dressing. Now it's time to add some rub. The rub that I'm going to use is a hasty bake rub, which is going to be a sugar-based rub with a little bit of spice to it. It's actually kind of a combination of a Kansas City and a Texas style rub, since we are in Oklahoma between Kansas and Texas. So to season the side of ribs, I'm just going to put a nice layer of seasoning, making sure to get the edges of the ribs. Uh, these, part of, these parts of the ribs are typically overlooked and don't get much seasoning. But when you're making ribs, you want them to eat all of the rib, not just the part with the most seasoning. So make sure you season them completely. And once again, I use quite a bit of seasoning on my barbecue. The reason is because when I put it on the grill, a lot of that seasoning is going to fall off and fall down into the fire. If I'm turning it over, more of the seasoning is going to fall off. Not nearly the same as cooking in home uh, on a skillet or in a pan where it's going to hold all of the seasoning that you ever put in there. Season the bone side. Now the typical rule of thumb for me, instead of cooking ribs by a particular time, is to cook them until either the smallest rib bone on the side can easily be slid out, or until the rib bones begin to show about a quarter of an inch from the meat. So when all of the rib bones all the way across have shown a quarter of an inch from the meat, it's typically time to pull them off and eat them. For baby backs, it'll take somewhere between an hour and a half and two and a half hours. For Kansas City and spare ribs, typically two and a half to three and a half hours, cooking at about 225 degrees. Now, if you're one of those folks that really likes the Kansas City style barbecue, whenever your ribs are done, you can glaze them with some barbecue sauce. Put them back on the grill for just a minute to give that very tacky appearance. And usually one bottle of rub will get me through three sides of ribs. It just about got me through these three sides of ribs. When we come back, we'll show you these ribs all finished up. All right, we've got our ribs finished up now. We took a full side of spare ribs, trimmed it down to Kansas City, and then trimmed it down to baby back. Pulled the membrane off the bone side, seasoned them up, and smoked them. Let's take a look and see if they're any good. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Woo! Tasty rib. Let me know how your ribs turn out. If you have any questions or comments, Give me a shout at Hasty Bake. Thanks and have a great day.